Meantime, new stories tonight from across the state of patients recovering from COVID-19. The governor highlighted one in particular involving a controversial treatment being promoted by President Trump. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Miami to begin our coverage at 11. Ty. Well, you know, Elliot and Francis, doctors are doing whatever they can to try to keep people alive, keep them breathing, and help them recover from this virus, whether it's medicine or a ventilator. And one biotech company is actually trying to make something that may be faster than a vaccine. In the meantime, all of these doctors and scientists are telling you guys out there, telling us to protect ourselves, follow CDC guidelines so we won't have to go to the hospital fighting for a second chance at life. Governor Ron DeSantis played this video of a man who couldn't hold back his tears. <laughs> he is suffering because of coronavirus and being cared for in Broward. You guys saved my life, and you know you did. He was given hydroxychloroquine. It's used to treat malaria, lupus, and arthritis. We don't want to assume that's, uh, that's going to help everybody. I think we need to continue with uh, aggressive efforts to do a randomized control trial, which is being done. The anti-malaria drug is being pushed by the White House and promoted by the governor to fight COVID-19. Its use has been controversial in the medical community since it's still being studied on whether it's successful battling the virus. Broward Health is trying something else too that's also used as an anti-inflammatory. There is something that we are trying on these very sick patients that's called nitric oxide treatment. Nitric oxide is used to relax blood vessels. COVID-19 has no known medicine to cure patients. There's no vaccine either, but one biotech company is working on a shortcut since vaccines take time for your body to develop antibodies. We and others have technologies that allow us to make these exact same antibodies outside of the body and then purify them and give them back to people and it's as if these people have been vaccinated. Testing is happening over the next two months, and if successful. So by the end of the summer, we could be treating hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. Another option for really sick patients is a ventilator. They're currently being used to keep many patients alive, and doctors admit it's not a cure. They will not make it if their disease is very severe and their lungs have been damaged. For those who are able to get better after a breathing tube, there may be other health problems that will prevent the person from getting their old life back. That some proportion of those patients will have long-term effects in their lungs, psychological effects, other kinds of uh, health problems. As for this patient in Broward, he's thankful for the doctors helping him on his long road to recovery. Now, I should also note that Kevzara is also being tested. That's currently now being used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, but scientists want to know if it can help fight against COVID-19. Now, as for those ventilators in Miami-Dade, the county officials are telling me that 4,500 are currently available and in Broward, 260 are still available. We are live in the city of Miami. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.